Namaste. Namaste and welcome everyone. It's so good to be here with all of you blessed members of the Jyotish community. Today is a special day for me because I actually get to have one of my students here to discuss their preview of their lecture for this year's 2022 Maharishi Parashara Conference, which is going to be held from November 17th to the 21st. But before we talk to that, I have to introduce you to my dear student, one of the wisest people I know, Melody Essig. Namaste, dear. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you so much for having me. It's such an honor to be on your channel and to show my appreciation to you on Guru Day. And I'd like to acknowledge like all that you've accomplished to be able to put all, to be here to do all this and show my gratitude. And thank you so much for having me. It's such an honor to be on my teacher's channel. Ah, uh, well, you know, like I have a bunch of other students that are kind of like graduating right now. So, so next year at the conference, there'll be a few students presenting, which will be cool. Nice. Um, mm -hmm. Not to get too distracted. She mentioned that she's going to be presenting at this year's conference. So just let me share you a little bit of information about how to figure more out about that. So if you go on the website, the website is uh, parasharaconference.com. It's P-A-R-A-S-H-E. ARA conference.com and it will take you to the home page where you'll see all the amazing teachers that'll be there, including me, Sam Jeppy, Camilla Sutton, Dr. Foss, Kavindra Rishi, Visti Larson, Vanita Lenka, Dr. Pai, Sarbani Roth, Narasim Harau, Eve Mendoza, Alan Anand, Dennis Harness, Malini Ayer, Pandit Sama Vidula, Aditya and Kanholi, Melody Essig. Barry Rosen and Charlotte Benson. And we're also going to have two Kirtan concerts, one by David Newman Durgadas and another one done by Jonathan Newman Kalidas, who's going to be doing a late night uh, Bhakti rave. So that'll be a fun little experience. So if you go on the website, the second option there is registration. Registration is where you can sign up for any of the classes. You can sign up for the full five day package. You can either pick a single day package, Jupiter Thursday, Venus Friday, Saturn Saturday, and I've just added single lectures. So single lectures are, you could, that means if you don't wanna do a whole day, you can just click on, an, on a lecture. So I'm here for Friday and I, and I click on Melody. And then you see it's $27 if you would like to attend Melody's uh, morning lecture on Friday, 11-18. So, and you can do this for single lectures, single days, or the whole package. And you'll get registration as soon as you complete the ticket. You'll get those links from me. You can find the schedule here Thursday through Monday, class descriptions, faculty. If you scroll down to the faculty, you can see the list of all of the amazing teachers that are gonna be there, such as this one. <laughs> And that's enough me talking about the conference. You know how to register if you want to <laughs> register. You know all the amazing things that are being offered. There's nothing else for Vedic astrology in the United States anymore uh, like this. And this is going to be consistent for years to come. So, so get your early bird tickets before they go up September 1st. And without further ado, I'm excited to have Melody discuss her lecture. Melody, the floor is yours. <laughs> I love those packages, like the day packages, like Venus. And I didn't realize it was only $27. That's a great deal. Yeah. That's awesome. It's so exciting. It looks beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> my mom, my mother did the whole website. She's a website designer. So that's, <laughs> yeah. I was wondering, I was like, it looks so cool. Yeah, that's she so cool. Yeah, I was so happy. I remember she did art. Yeah. It looks beautiful. So Thank exciting. You. It's exciting because you're okay, on the so, you're there. I'm so grateful. 
and I'm so excited about the content I have to share with everybody. I'm presenting Friday the 18th at 8 a.m. and I'm going right before Camilla, Camilla Sutton. She's, I'm a, definitely a fan of her work, so it's such an honor and I'm really um, looking forward to sharing the content I have with everybody. So my presentation is Shakti Miracles. <laughs> so each nakshatra has a Shakti or power that is the, given by the um, Devata or the deity. And these constellations and this divine energy um, the grahas, like grahas, as you know all this, but for our viewers that don't, means to grasp. So <clears throat> these are the seven planets and the two nodes. So they are able to act as a conduit for the shaktis. And so essentially through like me teaching Jyotish and my practice, like, like yoga, right? I'm a yoga practitioner and teacher and there's eight limbs of yoga, right? Like the asana is just one eighth of the whole thing. The rest is meditation, pranayama, um, codes of conduct, right? So essentially, like if we were just, focusing on the knowledge aspect of Jyotish, then it would be like a bird with one, one wing, right? So I have fully integrated um, Jyotish as a lifestyle. And through doing that, I have been able to observe results. And that's what I'm interested in for my clients also, results. And like, being able to observe, be able to observe it and live it basically. So through me um, teaching Jyotish, I was actually telling Shanti about this. Like I was teaching about Hasta Nakshatra, right? So Hasta Nakshatra has the Hasta Stapani Yagama Shakti, which is the power to make manifest and an object of one's desire in your hands because hasta is your hands, right? So I was doing a guided visualization for my students and just kind of like laissez-faire or like half, half, you know, just basically I was like, okay, so hasta, the deity is um, Savitor. So, Basically, it's a secret that the Gayatri mantra, which is my name's sake, you can find me online at Danya Gayatri Jyotishya. And um, it's the oldest, most continually chanted mantra from the Rig Veda. And it's the mantra of divine illumination. So it honors the sun and it's for Savitor. So it's a secret that you can use this um, mantra for this nakshatra and it to be done in a minimum of three, right? So I was just kind of like visualizing in my hands, a new iPhone, like I need a new iPhone, but I was more so like invested in my students, like not really thinking about for me, but I was just like, oh, I'll visualize this while I do this mantra. And within a month I had the iPhone which is hundreds of dollars. And I was like, check that nakshatra because it gave me a good fruit, right? And it was house the nakshatra and I'm holding the object of my desire in my hands and I'm like, whoa. So essentially, you know, I've gotten really into doing these guided visualizations with my clients. So that was kind of what I was saying about having like some contemplation, some which we'll be doing in the lecture an invocation of the nakshatra for the day, um, which happens to be, I checked it, Purva Falguni, which is a Venus-ruled nakshatra 
and it's on Venus Day. So I was like, oh, this is going to be really cool. And um, the Shakti for that is Prajan Prajnana Shakti, the unity, the union of opposites. So it's like Shiva and Shakti. And it's like we have our family and everybody's different, right? So we have to find a way to get along. So I'm really excited in particular because I really, I really love that nakshatra. It's Venus Day. And I've gotten this down to a science. And that's the whole thing is that um, to the Western mind, this might seem unscientific or illogical, or that miracles would be unsci unscientific, right? So, but in all actuality, it there's documented proof of spirituality, such as monks levitating. I've seen footage of like um, monks chanting in Tibet and tumors go away like in a matter of five minutes. So, you know, like the science is actually there and that's what I'll be doing is essentially de demyst demystifying it with my research, my success stories, um, I just had a success story recently with a client. It was Pornarvasu, um, which is the Vasutva Prapanashakti, um, the ability to gain wealth and substance. And she claims that through this visualization we did, within a few hours, her husband, who, is ha who was having trouble getting a job, found like an amazing job that's with crypto, like something he's really into with a good rate. And she attributed to that. So basically I will be um, sharing my secrets of how I've gotten this down to a science between Tarabala, Mahorta, um, Day of the Week and the Shakti. It's incredible. And, <laughs> and, and, and when you shared this topic with me, you were like, are you sure, you know, you, you weren't certain. And I'm like, yeah, you have to do this one because mm -hmm. if, if, when you dive into the Shakti of these different nakshatras and the devatas that rule over them, it takes you on a spiritual path. And as Jyotish says, we can think of this as a science, but you and I know it, it's a spiritual path. And it's a spiritual path that, yeah that pushes you to be your best self. So we have to unlock the power of the Shakti, the miracles of each of those nakshatras. I, I have a success story or something it made me think of because you know I have my Venus and Moon and Vishika nakshatra, which I remember the Shakti of Vishika is Vyapani Shakti, which is like a manifestation Shakti, like the power to, to manifest and achieve and stuff like that. But, but, it's, but it's in the ninth house of the guru. So the Venus in Libra and the ninth house in Vishika, that energy with the guru, that's all good, right? But, I love that about your chart. But the moon is actually um, dark and kind of like not getting along well with Venus. So, so even though on some very deep level, I desire a guru, but I've always been so skeptical. But... But the power of the uh, uh, the power of the Shakti of of, of Vishika, right? I'm I'm standing there, Ama, I'm written under my mom, my guru. She's coming in on this procession. I'm like 16 years old, and and everyone's there like oh. wor worshiping her, like she's this goddess, and I'm like she's just another person. You don't know how powerful I am. You know what I mean? I thought I was I was a 17 year old spiritualist. So I thought I had my own spiritual power. I was like, why are all these people worshiping her? <laughs> I, I, I put my hand out, though, to see what it might feel like when she touched your hand. You know, the next thing I know is I wake up on all these on the floor and all these people are like, are you OK? Whoa. And I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. They're like, you've been unconscious for like 15 minutes. So, oh my God. So that was the you miracle. You never told me that. Yeah. And it's perfect for your lecture because it's the miracle of the Shakti 
of Vishika in my ninth house uh, that allowed that to happen and, and, wow. allow, and allowed Amma to become my guru. Wow. So, and isn't her Lagna is, it's Libra, so it could be Vishika or Swati. Maybe it's Vishika. Is she a Vishika? Uh, I'm, I always, I don't look at her chart too often, just... Uh, and- and there's Saturn's there, which I have Saturn in Vishika. She is, a, she's a Vishika ascendant. So there you go. We it was like, so it was like, yeah. that, it was like a total manifest. <laughs> this person's your guru. And, and after that Shakti pot of like getting knocked unconscious, I was like, give me a mantra, give me a mantra, give me a mantra, like, in, like take me under you. You know, because I was a believer after that. Any doubt I had was removed. And I think that's a miracle because we human beings, we doubt, especially when it comes to, like you said, believing in things that aren't exactly scientifically uh, provable. And then you right. and then you experience them and you couldn't imagine not believing in it. You experience the spiritual and you're like, Oh, how did I not believe in that just because I couldn't calculate it using math? So I'm really great. Exactly. What's that, dear? I said exactly. Even for myself with Jyotish, it's like, you know, everything's with a grain of salt. Like, I have to test this. I have to see this. And then when you're constantly seeing it, you know, all day, the symbols, you know, like... Yeah, it's a test. You just you keep testing, right? Right. Yeah, and then it's yeah. it just keeps proving itself. <laughs> so I'd like to thank my dear student and friend Melody for taking the time to preview her lecture. Please do not miss her lecture Friday morning. You can get the Venus package for Friday or her single day lecture pass. Um, and uh, I hope everyone has a blessed Jupiter day and weekend. Anything you would like to say or comment, Melody, before we conclude? Thank you so much for having me, Guruji. I appreciate you so much and everything that you taught me. Uh, Guru means to grow and all you've shared with me and the ways you helped me grow and for inviting me on your channel and having me at the conference and I really look forward to seeing everyone at Friday at 8 a.m. <laughs> Hare Om, Om Namah Shivaya. Namaste Melody. Namaste Om Namah Shivaya.